Okay, so we're going to make a comparison. We'll see. Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm going to do the unboxing of the PM800 condenser microphone and the Phantom and the Phantom Power. So keep on watching. And so let's start na sa pag-unbox ng ating PM800 microphone. tayong pop filter manual napaka simple ng manual yung cable na yan ito microphone holder ito yung clip A USB sound card the microphone itself and this one is the shock mount microphone foam and ito yung pinaka-handle na dito sa clip okay done okay so unbox naman natin yung phantom power meron tayong cable oh, oh meron pa sila ano adapter din because I bought the US adapter and this is the Phantom Tower okay first step clip muna natin to sa table Sunod naman is, lagyan na natin itong pinaka-handle niya. Alright, so next ko naman ilalagay is itong shock mount. At just a reminder, pag ilalagay po natin yung, ano, yung microphone, ipipress nyo lang ito. Ayan. Then luluwag na siya, then pwede nyo na ilagay yung microphone. Okay, let's go to the pop filter naman. And the main star of this vlog, the BM800 microphone. So, press lang natin to para malagay. Next naman is the phantom power. So, yung input ang ilalagay po natin dito is yung connection natin going to the microphone. And yung output naman is yung cable na magpupunta sa ating sound card. yung ating sound card. Meron siya naka-indicate for microphone and meron siya naka-indicate for headphone. Ikakabit natin siya sa ating laptop. So, mas maganda, lagyan natin ang tali itong cord para hindi siya messy. And next, don't forget to plug in yung ating power adapter sa ating phantom power. Nakaserap na lahat, so we're gonna test kung ano ba ang kalalabasan ng audio quality ng microphone na to. Ang gagamitin ko is garage band ng Mac. We'll see. Okay, so we're going to make a comparison ng sound without the phantom power. So, direct na siya nakakonect yung microphone sa ating sound card. But before that, kailangan natin yung settings sa computer ay ganito. So, punta sa preferences and then dapat nakalagay siya sa USB audio device. Ayan. And pagpunta naman tayo sa garage band, kailangan makita natin yung, yung input natin is USB audio device.
Somebody told me you were leaving. Didn't know. So yun, napakinggan ko na yung both yung recording ko ng konting kanta ng Let Me Be The One. Uh, yung isa connected ng ating uh, Phantom Power. Yung isa naman is directly connected sa ating um, MacBook using the sound card provided. So what I can say is talaga mas maganda ang quality ng sound using the Phantom Power. If you have this Phantom Power, it supplies the right amount of power to your mic uh, to your microphone. So unlike sa USB, 5 volts lang yun ang purproduce niya going to your microphone. So unlike dito sa ano sa Phantom Power, talaga na po-provide niya yung enough power for your microphone. So if mapapansin niyo yung ano yung quality ng sound, talaga mas louder, mas malakas yung pickup ng microphone using the Phantom Power. I would have to say na itong BM800 microphone, condenser microphone is a very good product for me. Maganda yung quality ng ng microphone, maganda yung register ng voice mo sa BM800 na to. Isa pa din is yung yung presyo niya. I bought it for 105 ringgit. 5 ringgit is yung delivery fee. Plus, itong Phantom Power is 100, uh, 100 ringgit. So, mayroon siyang 5 ringgit na, ano, na delivery charge. All in all, 2,000 yung uh, 2,000 pesos or uh, 210 uh, ringgit yung na, ano ko, yung nagastos ko. And, I must say that I'm really satisfied with this BM800. So, kapag video niyo siya, may kasama siyang shock mount, pop filter, tapos yung uh, handle niya. And you make some mention sound card. Everything is in there, so it's a great uh, product for me. Okay, so that ends my review and my mini tutorial of the setup of this BM800. So that's it. I shall see you on my next one. Bye.